Lanes of the Auckland Harbour Bridge could be out of action for several weeks after a freak gust of wind toppled two trucks, causing damage to the bridge's superstructure. The incident closed lanes caused huge snakes of gridlocked traffic, grinding chunks of the super city to a halt today. Two lanes each way have now reopened, but motorists are being warned of delays through the evening and to avoid the bridge entirely if they can. Video journalist Nick Monroe and Amy Williams filed this report. A sudden gust of wind on Auckland's Harbour Bridge was all it took for two trucks to collide and roll one onto its side. A medium-sized truck travelling in lane three northbound was hit by a strong gust of wind and blown across two lanes, toppling over the movable lane barrier where it became stuck. At the same time, a truck carrying a shipping container was blown sideways, hitting the bridge's overarch, but it managed to right itself and carry on. Met Service meteorologist Lewis Ferris says the wind was gusting at just over 60 kilometres per hour when it suddenly doubled in strength to 120 kilometres per hour for just three minutes. And they doubled in strength as that front passed over, so across the Harbour Bridge, but then in about five minutes after that, ten minutes after that, that wind speed had dropped right off as it turned around to the southwest. Mr Ferris says it was a once-in-a-decade weather event centred on the Harbour Bridge. The gust that we saw this morning in Harbour Bridge is a very rare occurrence. In the last ten years, the Harbour Bridge has only recorded comparable speeds just once. Emergency services were called to the crash shortly after 11 o'clock this morning. There were no serious injuries. The truck driver was taken to hospital for a checkup and released soon after. The toppled truck was from Castle Parcels. Its general manager, Michael Claydon, says they're working with the police and truck driver to understand the sequence of events and conditions that caused the accident. The incident caused huge delays for people trying to cross the bridge. Long lines of traffic fanned around motorway on-ramps. Waka Kotahi, the transport agency's senior journey manager, Neil Walker, says the incidents caused some damage to the bridge. We're currently having a look at the damage and trying to determine how long it's going to take us to, to get it repaired. It's a reasonably important part of the bridge, so we can't run traffic on it while that, that damage is there. Mr Walker says the four middle lanes will remain closed over the weekend and possibly on Monday while the damage is repaired. It appears the worst of the wild weather is over. Met Services' Lewis Ferris says the weekend is looking calm. The wind was very strong around the Harbour Bridge at around 11am today. Good news is that wind is dropping back and we don't expect any winds of that comparable strength through the weekend. However, we do expect there will be some cloud and possible isolated showers around Auckland through the weekend. For anyone heading north this evening, congestion is expected to be heavy. Motorists are asked to travel via the Western Ring route on alternative state highways and avoid the bridge. For Checkpoint, Amy Williams.